I just finished the most insane book and I need to talk about it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Kirsten's Corner. Today I have a spoiler free book review for I Wish I Would Have Chosen You by Whitney G. So this book review is going to go in the same format as all my other book reviews. I'll give you a spoiler free synopsis, then we'll go through six different elements writing, plot, setting, characters, execution, and entertainment. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now, full disclosure, this book tells you in the synopsis that you should not read the synopsis and you should just go in blind. Um, that's not really necessary. I think that's kind of dramatic. The synopsis doesn't give anything away at all. <laughs> so if you want to read the synopsis, go for it. If you want to watch this video, go for it and you'll still enjoy the book just as much as I did. As always, there are two free resources linked in the description where you can check out some trigger warnings. There is an age gap romance in this book, so if that is something that bothers you, uh, there's also a power imbalance in this book, so if that bothers you, just check it out. This is a KU age gap romance. You know what you're gonna get. So first, I'm gonna give a synopsis, completely spoiler-free, don't worry. So this book follows our main characters, Genevieve and Liam. And Genevieve is from a super well-to-do family and she goes to Phillips Exeter boarding school. And I'm from New England, so I know Phillips Exeter. I know all about it. It is the school. It costs more to go there than it costs to go to my small liberal arts college that costs a ridiculous amount to go to. <laughs> However, Genevieve is right. Genevieve is phenomenal at writing and Genevieve is literally getting privately tutored by a Harvard professor. So she is kind of bored at Exeter and to pass the time, to pass the years, because she has no friends at school, because she honestly, she thinks she's better than everyone there. She sneaks off campus and goes into Boston all the time. One day when she goes into Boston, she meets this guy. And of course she's getting into these bars in Boston by lying about her age. She has a fake ID and she gets in and she tells this guy that she is 21 and she's in grad school. Lo and behold, she is 16 and at a boarding school, a boarding high school. Now, while this is awful, the age of consent is 16 in New Hampshire, where Phillips Exeter is located, and she does not do anything uh, that would be statutorily rapey. However, she gets this guy to basically fall for her. And lo and behold, come Monday, he is Genevieve's new English teacher. Now, Liam, the English teacher, does absolutely everything in her is power to keep her away however Genevieve is relentless girl goes after what she wants or what she thinks she wants and yeah she and him pursue this relationship however about halfway through the book something happens and from there on out I won't tell you anything because literally I got to that plot point there's a plot point I think at like 66 percent is when it takes a turn and from there on out I could not put this book down I usually don't read when I'm doing other things I was cooking my breakfast and I was reading I was eating my breakfast and I was reading I was walking around and I was reading I could not put this book down I read this book in less than 24 hours and I am such a slow reader and also to put that in perspective, yesterday I was at school from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And I still read this book in 24 hours. I made time for this book. It was my job. I was dedicated. I put in the work, okay? I was reading in class. I neglected my studies, which let's, I'm, I do that anyway. Like this, that's not, it's not special. Incredible. I couldn't put it down. And it is your classic teacher-student age gap romance. That's my thing. I love an age gap romance. Age gap romance is my favorite trope by far. Far and away, I have an entire video recommending age gap romance books I just love, okay? I know that that is wicked controversial and a lot of people think that it's just terrible. And if that's you, then don't read this book, okay? Don't read any age gap books. Don't come after people who like them though. So the first category is characters and truly we don't have that many characters. I will say that there are quite a few appearances by lawyers, not their legal capacity, but some people in the book are lawyers. As you would imagine, Philip Exeter puts out a lot of lawyers. The Northeast, New England in general, puts out the most lawyers in the country. So we got some appearances from lawyers and rightfully so, they were all terrible people. They were all truly the epitome of what actual lawyers are and i'm saying that as a law student 
every single lawyer I've met, not every single one, the majority of lawyers are absolute jerks and this book epitomized it phenomenally so i loved that however our two main characters are liam who is the english professor and i love him granted he was more of a plot device to learn more about genevieve i love genevieve girl went through it in this book okay girl went through it and I empathize with her so much. She's also so dramatic and if you know me in real life I am I feel all the feelings okay I'm quite dramatic I'll forget one thing at school and I'll be like well it's time to go home okay so that's I love her I love Genevieve heart forever and I also absolutely loved that she was obsessed with reading I love that in a character as far as writing, this was a KU romance book and I think it was written like any other. It kept me entertained, it kept me interested. There were a couple typos but nothing like glaring. It was nothing like the Summer's Kiss series which has about a typo on every page. I think this one had like two in the whole book so really not a big deal. Entertaining, obviously I'm gonna give this a 5 out of 5 on the entertainment scale. It was wicked entertaining. I loved everything about it. Um, I could not put it down and I am very easily bored. I am literally an eight-year-old boy. I need to be entertained at all times and this book did that. So props to Whitney G. As far as the setting, it took place everywhere that I knew. Like they were talking about the Amtrak, the tea, everything. Absolutely love South Station, Red Line, Green Line. Like I knew these places, okay? The Prudential Center, I knew these places. These were places that I've stepped foot in. So it was incredible reading about them. Loved it. Phillips Exeter is notorious in my neck of the woods in New England. Everyone knows about it. It's where the richest of the rich go, the best of the best, everything love. It is the most prestigious boarding school in all of New England and let me tell you the amount of boarding schools that we have here is ridiculous so that's saying a lot. So I have execution and plot. As far as execution, 10 out of 10, absolutely incredible. The author did exactly what she wanted to do. She created an incredible story and executed an incredible age gap romance and that's coming from someone who reads so many age gap romance books. And then finally plot boy was their plot and especially after that twist at 66 percent 10 out of 10 100 love like fantastic okay so overall this is my new one of my new favorite age gap romances uh the balance series by lucia franco confidence of wildflowers by macaulay smeltzer and now I wish I would have chosen you by Whitney G. Absolutely love. Obsessed. So that's that on that. If you love age gap romances, check it out, please. Let me know in the comments down below if you have read it or if you plan to read it. If you got this far in the video, leave a purple emoji down below to let me know that you watched it. Thank you so much for watching, for continuing to support my channel, and until next time, happy reading. Bye.